Now, as introductory to old Jeff King's uh, world of symbols, I just want to present a few of beautiful Navajo sand paintings to give you an idea of the world and how that world of the Navajo has influenced the imagery of their uh, mythology. These paintings are actually made of sand and uh, colored sand, and this, this is strewn in beautifully accurate lines, as you can see in these reproductions, on a base. And uh, then the sand painting is used as a mythological realm into which the person to be initiated or healed moves. And he is, as it were, now in the realm of myth. He has moved out of the realm of normal life in which we live. Uh, to begin with, then, the um, sand painting that we see before us here is called The Curtains of the Sky. And uh, the central circle is that uh, world axial center, which we discovered last talk in uh, the central uh, fountain of the world. We made quite a point of that central point, what uh, Jung called the point of the transcendent function, and then the four directions of space. Here in the Navajo system, the four directions of space, each has its own color. And the colors are uh, for east, south, west, and north. The north is the sign on our um, left here. This is the north, and uh, this the south, this the east, and this the west. In this particular representation, the east is white, the south blue, the west yellow, and the north black. The, this is where the sun is in the underworld, so to say. For each direction, there are patron birds. And this is the sun in his travel around the world. The surrounding figure here is Rainbow Man, and he is used as an enclosing circle, that circle always open toward the east. And as I'm going to be presenting these uh, uh, slides, these uh, pictures of the universe, I'm going to have the east always to the top. It is opened in order that the spirit can send its grace into the field of time and space. That opening is very important. Now, this little guarding figure here is called Donso, also known as Big Fly or Little Wind. And he is the communicator of the spirit. I'm told that when one is uh, walking on the deserts of New Mexico and Arizona, occasionally one will have a great big fly come and sit on one's shoulder. Now, in this Navajo mythology, that fly plays the role of the spirit of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit who is talking to and guiding one. In the mythologies of the uh, Western world, that would be represented by the dove in the Christian tradition, and by the dove also in the pagan tradition, representing the spirit of love of uh, the goddess uh, Aphrodite, or Venus. Here, it's big fly. And so you see how a local motif, a local experience, has become to, uh, utilized to play a role, an archetypal role, which another tradition is played by another figure, namely the dove. So here's Don So, the little uh, guardian of the spirit, guarding the, the gate. Here is that inexhaustible source, the center of darkness from which all the powers um, of life come as they did in our alchemical uh, series from that great fountain of uh, the three waters. Now, the plants that are represented in this uh, picture here are the food plants of the Navajo people. We have the corn, and we have the squash, and we have beans, and we have a medicine plant, a plant that is used for curing. 